Welcome back everybody to more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Playing the open online format today, Alpina Forest, and we're going to play the outward nine and the inward nine because they both happen to be the same setup, which is championship tees uh, and normal uh, regular cups. So we'll see how we do. Someone have got a ridiculous score 16 under. <laughs> we'll use the big boys clubs for this, I think. And hopefully we'll do better than we did on Imperial yesterday. So first hole, you can try and drive the green, land it in the rough and try and pop it on. Um, which is what we might have a go at. Why not? Oh, it means we'll probably have to chip our second. I went out the back in the end. Okay, we've got a bit of a chip back. Always hard to judge the power out of bunkers. Oh, got a lot of that. Nice save. Oh, great play. So we've got a birdie pup. Gotcha. Start with a birdie. So we got four under for this nine before. Must have played that while ago then. Uh, so par three. The ridiculous over the green. Okay, two seventy. So it's a five wood. Or it's a power shot three. Let's try the three iron. I always feel more confident with the irons than the woods. Much more control. That properly skipped on. May as well use the wood. So we're going to struggle to make the birdie here. Nah, that's going to race past as well. So tricky putt for the par. Focus. We're actually not that bad. Not that bad. There we go. Save the par. First of the par fives. It's a par five. And play it up there. Should give us a decent shot. Caught a bit of a tree, hit a sign. In the fairway, then. I tried to cut too much of that corner off in reality. So 140 to go. Got it up on the green. Actually, not far away. It's a seven foot for an eagle. Gotcha. Right in the middle. Not a bad, not a bad um, hole. It's a four. It's a four. Off normal tees, you can cut the corner here. Oh, we can just about cut the corner here as well. The problem is, you get such a variable bounce. You don't really know this is going to end up, but you're going to play it where it ends up. There we go. Ooh. That softened it nicely. It's ended up on the green. I'll take it. Eagle pup. And a makeable eagle pup. Got it. Two eagles in a row. For five under. So five's the par four. That little track, is that in play? Yeah, look, there's an out of bounds there we've got to be really mindful of. I might just lay it up. No point getting into trouble there for the sake of 20, 30 yards.
Now I heard the ding, 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 ding. Oh, they're on eight. We'll pick them up when we get to eight then. Okay, so. At the ultra top oh, bin. Yeah, that was too much the wind, I suppose. Carried it a bit. For a birdie. birdie putt, though. Easy now. It ain't over till it's over. Oh, we made it. Six under. Okay, six is the par four. Again, this is pretty straight, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, this is the one that slopes. If you ever look at the slope, see it slopes right to left. So you've got to make sure you end up high side. If you end up here, you're just going to roll off into that water unless you play it more conservatively. But I think we all know we won't be doing that. Go! Yeah, good shot. Yeah, it looks like we're all right. We're far enough right. It's a nearly two hundred look to go still. There. Looks like it slopes up. So we got a birdie power. Breaking to the left. Oh, missed it. Just low, Focus. just a little bit low. Nice par. Fair enough. Nice par. So six under. Yeah, that par hurts a bit, doesn't it? Okay, seven's the par three. Pole seven is a par three. Ah, uh, this one's sometimes difficult. Where's the pin? Pin's at the back. Okay, so we can get to the pin. Oh, it's gone way right. Just end up in that bunker. Don't take your eye off it. Oh, what's he want? Three foot of the pin. Well, we're, that's what we're trying for. For sure. Oh, we might be inside as well. There you go. Two gems for doing what we wanted to do anyway. Take the par though, sadly. I'm just trying to get the birdie. Six under. Uh, two parts in a row. Sort of stalled a bit, didn't we? It's a par four. Ah, uh, eight. So, eight. Let me just pick up all the bits and bobs first. Eight's interesting. Very interesting. Oh, left hand side. Anything on the left will just drain into that lake. Oh, I can't go back, can I? As I haven't set up. Um, so, you've got to play it up the right hand side, but then it's uphill, so you've got to judge the, um, the altitude properly. So basically anything on the left that's short will just drain into there. So your choices are to play up onto the right here. In fact, that's the shot, isn't it? Bravo. And try and keep it on the right and keep it up. That's all right. I'm actually not... I'd rather be there in the rough than in the water. So let's just collect the... Um, see if we can find the other gem. While we're here. There we go, got it. Now we can play the shot. Hitting out the rough though, I'm gonna lose a bit of the control. Good, good. But I'll take that. Three foot pop. Yes, please. Nice birdie. There we go, back on the birdie train, seven under. Last one, hole nine. It's a par five. It's a super long par five. Go on, 
mean, in theory, this should be the longest drive you can make. Am I going to get a bounce here? I am. Look at that. That might end up in a bunker. That's going to be my longest drive, I think. 460. 465. That's definitely the longest drive I've had. And it's official. Oh, just a bit short. Oh, for the eagle. He wants a backdoor shot. Nah, we're just gonna play it straight. There you go. It's our third eagle. Nine under. That's not a bad round of golf, including our record ever drive. So how you get 16 under is beyond me. I'll take my nine. Look at that, not even close to my daily rival score. People must be absolutely smashing this course today then. But I've improved my score, which is what I was here to do. Set myself a new official. Best driving, F465 and a half. Ah, not bad, not bad. And I got my level 15 back, which I lost yesterday. So we'll play the inward nine now and see how we get on. Uh, we got the gems, didn't we? Yeah. And this is also championship normal. So we kind of get 18 holes. See how we do. So nine under for the first nine was all right. I'm just having a coffee. I often wonder if the coffee helps or hinders. Since you kind of got to be pretty precise and on the money with your impact. I mean, I suppose there are more eagles out there, so I do see how they get those scores, but... For the mortals like us, you've got to be holding a lot of those second shots, really, even with much more powerful clubs than mine. But hey, all you can do is do the best you can with each shot and see where you end up. So, in with nine. By the way, there's been some announcements on Reddit um, on the Japanese PlayStation blog that was re-recorded on, replayed on Reddit, sorry. 16 under. Um, about the one-year anniversary celebrations. So there's going to be an additional course, which looks super hard, a tournament. Um, do I want to play up there? some costume boxes so you can pick up items that you may have missed from earlier tournaments which I think a few people will be interested in um, and there'll be some new bits and pieces I think you get some free stuff oh, as well shot. but I think the tournament and the new course will be interesting it's being released in Japan next week so whether we get it at the same time I don't know but we'll see and someone said something about separate leaderboards didn't quite understand the translation that Japanese was not perfect so we'll see what happens, but I'm expecting an update in the next couple of days. I'm assuming the new course is DLC, but we'll see. And certainly when I, if I get a hold of it, I'll, um, I'll show it to you. But of course it's harder than Pine Hills. Sounds interesting. So we open up with a birdie. We've got nine under for this. Okay, okay. Hole eleven is a par three. It's a par three. Yeah, there's not a lot of wind. Going with the no spin strategy for some of these. I think it lets the back door act a bit better. Well, that's blown that theory out the window. Oh, great play. Oh, that buddy. It's 20 foot. It's gonna work. 
It's gonna work for sure. It's there. Ah. Oh, Always left. Gonna have to take the part. Gonna need some eagles. The par threes can be tricky because if you don't get them close. It's a path. Ah, oh, twelve. No condors today. The question is, is that shot on? No trees. So there's no way to play that. Hang on, let's see what everybody else. What are they going to do? Are you going to play that through the trees? See, that's not going to work. Um, so let's play over here. Oh, again. Tricky. Let's just move across a little bit. There you go. Looks like there's an actual shot through there. Kept it low. Got it through the branches. Made it to the fairway. That looks alright. What was that? 423. It's not a bad shot. Okay. So a little 9 iron downhill. Didn't get the backspin I wanted. It's alright, though. We're on them. We're close. Got ourselves an eagle up. Don't let the eagle slip. And we are going to need an eagle. No! Ooh. Just grabbed the corner of the hole. It's another par three. Cheeky little power shot, seven. Oh, just died, didn't it, on that little semi rough. Pitching him in the rough really does kill him. Just got it. Four under. So, four par fours in a row, and finish with a par five. It's a four. Ah, this one. Yeah. Now you get a slightly different line here. So if you're on the normal tees, I'll show you. If you're on the normal tees, this is a much straighter shot. You can actually see. Because you're on the championship tees, you end up hidden behind the tree line. It's quite clever how they've done this. So you've got to play the shot differently. Seriously. So you've got to get right over the right-hand side, and you've got to sort of curl it. You gotta be careful where you pitch it, because everything will pitch towards the water. Oh nice shot. If you wanna land on the right, with a bit of luck, it'll skid down to the green. There you go, a little bit like that. So we're a bit short, but we're on the green and we're safe. We got a putt. For an eagle. See that? No, I tried to muscle it to hold its line. Just straighten the putt up a bit. I still got the birdie though. So we've got the birdie five under. Another par four to come. Fifteen. Fifteen. It's a par four. Again, those bunkers are out of range, which is good. Go on there. Oh, good shot. Oh, just caught the rough, which kills it. Look at that. That's how much it drops it. Ah, uh, never mind. Don't take your eye off the gauge. So, tricky shot out of the rough. Hard to judge the distance. Didn't get the flyer, which is important. Ooh. Oh, that's getting close. Oh, well, hey. Go for the birdie. So, saved ourselves a little bit there. Take the birdie. Nice birdie. Six under. Another par four. 
It's a powerful. Again, I think we can drive pretty far up here, can't we? Yeah. We can almost drive the green. Took a good skip on. Yeah, let's just run through. Oh, <laughs> that's flirted. Still on the fairway, perversely. A chip. Oh, yeah, we're trying for the chip in. That's what we try and do. Yeah, we got the break. Oh, it's like reading a putt. Not quite. Roll with it. Not bad. Call for the birdie. Still got a tricky birdie part. Ooh. Nice bird. Oh. <laughs> seven under. Nearly missed it. It's over it's the lodge. I think we can just go steer. Yeah, we go straight at the green, can't we? Oh, it might be a little bit right. I think it's in trouble. Yep. Yeah. Looks like it's playable, though. Because getting an unplayable would not have been good. Alright. Just get it up there. That's all we can do. Oh, close is a bonus. Chance for a birdie. So we're going to save a birdie from a almost a drop shot because that, if in the water we would have dropped the shot for sure. Eight under. Then we get the par five to finish. Last one, all eighteen. It's a par five. And it looks like this is where all the gems and stuff are. So let's collect those. Then we don't have to worry about it. There's the gem. That's good. We can take the shot. Right. Now, I'm going to hit this a long way. You can play up here. But I think we'll play up here. It's fine. Just going to use a little bit of backspin to get a bit of altitude because we're going up that slope on the far side. I went so far left. We're in good shape though. 225 to go. I heard the ding 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 ding. Uh, there it is. They've been easy to find on these two courses today, which is good. Okay, four iron. Oh, my favourite four iron. What can we do? At bunker. Oh, that's where we ended up. We're still reasonably close, though. Just splash this out. Drop it near the hole. Get a putt. Oh, okay, that's all right. So we got six for for the birdie and nine under and eighteen under for the pair. I'll take it. There you go. Not bad. We certainly improved our score on the on the outward nine, and we've levelled our score on the inward. So we played all right. Sixteen under—that's a ridiculous score. Stats should be pretty good. Obviously, no record drive this time. I know we missed a couple of fairways. 
Heidi was up. Yeah, but we hit every green. Look at that, 100%. That's good. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time for a bit more Everybody's Golf.